All right. That's the last one for the ground sheet. You can see it's got a fireproof area for the stove to go. That's the entrance. It's got a little strap. Goes around it. Pretty uh, pretty spacious in here. I'm five eleven ish, and I can I can stand pretty much almost all the way out to the the hooped area, which is which is pretty good. It's got a, quite a bit of space. It's got two doors. I'll I'll go in the outside of here, put my boots back on, and show you from the outside. Pretty big. Two doors too. Let me open this other one. I gotta guy out these lines too. And it it pulls it out. The walls out so you have more room on the sides. Um, Velcro on top of with a rain flap on top of a zipper, which is pretty nice. I have to get my boots in there. All dirty. Nah, that's all right. In this middle, these flaps go around the middle, so you have two entrances. That's where the stove goes. So if you don't, if you want to use it in the summer, you have a lot of space open. In the winter, you can close off that side, so the stove sits there. You pull your tensioner with a loop on it all the way out, and then you can tighten it. Tighten it until it's pretty taut like that, and then over here, they snap in to these little, there's an area with cut out teeth where the line will just slide in and keep it from sliding around. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna do the rest off camera, and then come back and put the stove in. That's the tent right there. I love the color. Almost matches my shirt, especially on camera. It looks very close. I got all the guy outs tied in. Looks amazing with the stove. And I can't wait to try it out. I'm gonna load up everything else and get to camping. Got my dry bag, <clears throat> clothes, uh, a blanket. Yes, I have a little, a warm little blanket. And uh, a few other things, a pair of bottoms for sleeping, because I don't want to sleep in my overalls. Go ahead and set those on the chair. Got my blanket, nice little warm blanket. GoPro stuff. Uh, that's about it. Sleeping bag and these. I don't know if uh, anyone's ever seen these. These are self-inflating. Not like you might think, like blowing up and stuff, but slightly self-inflating camping mats. You open these. You tell I've used them a lot. They're good. Even just sleeping on the straight ground. You open these. and it airs itself up slightly, just so you don't have to sleep on this terrible, you know, I mean, the cots are nice, but it's not the greatest on your back. And also, you can blow in them to get slightly more air going. But it really it really helps, they really do help. Especially on these, these hard parts, on the corners or edges, when you're rolling in the night. Like, like these right here, Hard plastic, there's no padding on that. But now, it's a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Sleeping bag, which I'll usually just leave open. I usually just leave it open and <clears throat> sleep on top of it for even more padding. Just like that. And then my little, because we're gonna have a hot stove in here. Definitely don't need to be super warm. 
That'll take care of us. <clears throat> oh, something I also, brand new, never, never have had this before. But I had a couple, couple extra bucks and it was on sale, so I said, you know, why not? It's just a little tiny memory foam pillow that packs down just like that, which that's plenty enough for me, but I just thought, you know, might try it. It was only a couple bucks, seven bucks or something on Amazon. Got some wood, I know. Make fun of me. I got a two by four lumber and pre-cut bundles, but I couldn't find my saw. So, hey, I'd rather have wood than no wood. Plus, I don't know if you can tell, everything's wet out here. And I don't really want to be burning a bunch of wet wood in the stove. Decided that we're going to be so fancy, we're going to have a little welcome mat. <laughs> Ties it all together nice though. Look at that, the matching Coleman's. Beautiful. With some fresh water. Awesome. It's uh, 9.30, and I decided I'm going to have me a little little bit of noodles, so I'm uh, heating up some water. First time I've put anything on here, and uh, I'm just going to pour it in here and let it soak for a little bit. You can see the stove. It's, uh, oh, no focus, huh? That orange is five to 600 degrees. Water's not quite boiling but it's right about there and I think that's good enough for me I've got this little board on top of this table so I don't mess it up pour that put water in there let it sit cover it so I don't leak out steam Even though it's just ramen noodles, it's just something nice and warm before you go to bed. I don't know about you guys, but it really helps me fall asleep. I'm going to enjoy this little bowl of ramen noodles, watch the fire, and then go to sleep. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. As you can see... It rained for probably a good uh, six or seven hours last night. And, uh, yeah, no leaks. The tent's good. However, it is cold. I did wake up at uh, around two. The fire was completely dead. I restarted it, warmed back up, went back to sleep. And then since then, I've been okay, but it is cold and I do need to get it started again. So, <clears throat> let's get that started and uh, cook some breakfast.
it's definitely cold in here but the stove did run out for a while now and uh yeah it's not that big of a deal just to have to relight it a little bit you know especially in the morning but uh yeah i'm gonna get this thing going and uh cook some breakfast It rained for probably eight hours last night. You can see, and uh, if you look down here, no water, dry. So yeah, I'd say this thing works amazing. It's great, there's so much room. It's just, it's just really, is. Pomali just makes great products. And I love it. And I can't wait to use this thing some more. go ahead and uh, enjoy this and uh, come back in a little bit there's geese flying over back there this land has a lot of water on it and they usually every time they migrate the ducks and the geese they come and land back past this uh, creek there always is a lot of deer around here but I'm just I'm looking for squirrels that's about it. These are apple trees. And um, obviously it's not the right time of year, but if it was uh, summertime, these would be apples. And you can see blackberries covered over this one. But it's winter time and ain't nothing growing. Uh, except one second pardon me one second we have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of these natural onions these onions all grow naturally here and they're 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 not as strong as as you would think of when you think of like a, a spring onion or something like that, but they're almost like chives, you know? Here, I managed to dig a few out and uh, wash them off. And you can see a, a lot of them are uh, old and almost rotten, but it, they do just constantly keep going back like here's a good one and these are just just growing everywhere I think we uh I think we're gonna keep a few and uh, use them in dinner tonight this is uh the Willamette River runs just about uh, half a mile down over there and it fills up these creek beds when the when it rains very hard in the in the raining seasons 
and when uh, everything's flooding these will fill up it'll get up to probably around here maybe four or five feet of water you can see there's still a little bit of water back here all the animals are probably coming back here to drink well did a full circle and now we're back so might take a little rest give me something to drink and uh yeah, just sit down and enjoy the wildlife for a while. Probably watch some more birds and stuff. It's cool just being able to watch them do the thing. Like that woodpecker was over there for a good hour and a half and I was just watching him. Not there no more, but yep, alrighty. Wow. Those hawks. I'm not sure if you heard it, but there's two hawks up there. I definitely heard them call. Wow, that was cool. Right when I turned the, gro the GoPro on. <clears throat> oh, there you go. I had uh, just seen some deer right past this chicken coop. I'm gonna see if I can't sneak up and get a good video of them. Yeah, they are. They're pretty far out there. That one knows I'm here for sure. Pretty cool, man. But you never know what you're gonna see out here. That's why, even though we're not deep in the woods, you know, we're still on a pretty large piece of property, and uh, it's cool, man. Let's you connect with nature a little bit, you know, without having to go without having to go real far driving hours it's real nice to be able to know people with some property another nice thing about this uh particular one is the roken mini is it has a removable ash tray so whenever the fires burn down i just scrape as much ash i can through the false bottom and i take it out here and just dump it Just like that. I can put it back in. Keep in mind, that was from, shoot, almost, I'd say from, from five o'clock yesterday till, that's probably almost 20 hours of burn time. And it only produced that much ash, which is pretty good. It burns very efficiently. Now, whenever I'm ready for dinner, we can uh, go ahead and cook that up. I got, I got some, uh, I got some wontons and uh, some soups. Got some wontons and some soup. I don't know which one I'll end up using. Even got this. These ones are pretty cool, kimchi. But yeah. When we collected our onions earlier, we'll be able to use those, as well as have some tilapia for those.
went ahead and put some uh, tilapia fillets in these little pans, covered them up, and slid them on top. Let them cook a little bit. Ooh, it's looking amazing. And we're just finishing up the fillets over here. And I'll let you see when I'm all done. I'm gonna enjoy this now, and then sit around and listen to the rain, and hang out by the fire. I can definitely say that these Pomali products yeah, let me let me like. I can definitely say that these Pomali products are absolutely worth the money. Um, the stoves are amazing. Everybody knows that the stoves have always been great. And this is a, a newer release of as of 2023. Um, it's an amazing tent for for $230, which if you get a smaller, I know they make like the the stove huts and stuff. Those are like upwards of like 185, somewhere around there. For an extra 50 bucks, you get something that is absolutely huge. It's it's well worth the money, absolutely. I could easily spend a week in this thing, no problem. Complete comfort. Uh, I, I would say, yeah, these are great. These are great products. Uh, I wasn't sponsored to say this. Obviously, my channel's small still, but my girlfriend, my lovely girlfriend, bought them for me, and I can't thank her enough because I've been wanting them. I've been wanting a hot tent in a stove for so long. If you're questioning if you should buy it or not, absolutely. It is well worth it. This the stoves are are such good quality. The tent is is it seems to be very good quality. It rained a little bit earlier, not a drop leaked in. Of course it wasn't like a, a super storm or nothing, but you know, mixed with the heat of the stove, it it'll dry it out. It'll dry whatever residue of water is sitting around. And uh, I can't wait to make more videos and 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 just go out and enjoy it in my own spare time too good morning everyone it's time to pack up unfortunately i had a great time but it's time to go home all right we got the whole tent packed down just the ground sheet left and that's it and then i'm heading home thank you for watching